This is Katie Hunter from MA UK. I'm here with the Cooks, David Cook and Steve Cook. Hi guys. How are you? Hi guys. I wanted to talk about your show last week. I was at a wedding of a very dear friend of mine. If I didn't love her as much as I do, I would have been at your show <laughs> instead because it was amazing. Tell me about it. Yeah, it was, it was the, our fifth show and it's the first time that we've had, like, we, we pumped out, we had a bigger cage, we've got commentators in, obviously trying to make it, you know, we had the um, the uh, English MMA officials, like, Sam yeah. Media and everything, we, we, we went all out, made no money, no, I'm joking, but uh, it, was a good show. it was a really good show, do you know what I mean, like, yeah. the, um, the quality of fights was great, you know, we had a um, really good fight for Dave, really good fight for my daughter, it was just epic. It was a really good night out. And you picked up another belt. Yeah, I did. Um, that's uh, number, uh, I want to say, three. Yeah, number three. In MMA? In MMA, yeah, number three. Well, now. How many belts altogether? Oh, yeah, all together. Oh, all together. I want to say, like, 12 yeah. and everything. But, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it, you know. He's going to hate on me because I wrestled, but I won, yeah. I guess. You looked in amazing shape. What have you been doing differently? I don't actually know. I just think I just stopped being fat a bit. Um, <laughs> No, it was, um, I popped up the training, like, just more and more training, and I felt good, I felt really good in there, uh, better than I did last time on Cadre, so it's just only getting better, I've been telling everyone each time I fight I level up, and the uh, next performance can be even better, so. I'm so excited to see the next one, when will that be? Uh, we're not too sure, we're looking at a couple of people, depends, depends what, Rise and Conquer, Golden Ticket. Even I know there's cage rows in October, we'll see what they're saying. It's just got to get the right fights and uh, fight the best guys. yeah, fight the best. Featherweight's next, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. At featherweight. featherweight. Yeah, we'll see what we can do at Featherweight. It's all for like, yeah, you? I'm tall, but I'm just. Very, you are tall. I'm very uh, skinny, but even though I like, well, I still feel good. But I think I'm. He walks around 72, 71, 72 kilos. So I mean, really, with a, with a, with a camp without eating crap and stuff, he could. He could probably move down, yeah, I reckon so, do you know? But, um, no, it's going to be fun. Uh, so have you got particular people in mind? Uh, Shayingham is, is, is a big name. Uh, all of them, all of them guys, all the top ones. He wants to fight all the top ones. Curtis Campbell, um, Jules Staines, who's another one? All of, all of them, Thomas Owen. Yeah, Thomas Owen, big yeah, one. Yeah, all them, all them top, top, high-level guys, of course, you know, you know, you have to fight them to get better you know win lose or draw you know you're going to find out like what level you're at and that's what he's looking he needs next he needs the top top guys at featherweight and there was a lot of fight uh, uh, hype sorry around chloe's fight i haven't seen it tell me about it she went all five rounds right yeah. and walked away the champion last class if there was two fights on the odd card i'll tell you to see i think one will be chloe and one will be my best friend kenny's fight them two fights oh my god like fight on YouTube. Kenny Lee, watch out for him, mate. Yeah, Honestly, he, he was losing two rounds, come back and knock the Norwegian out. It's unbelievable. He's only 18. Like, he's an absolute savage. But Chloe, going back to Chloe, just a master class. And for some reason, somehow, she got a little bit of a, more of a personality now, didn't she? Yeah. She started screaming at the commentators, I'm number one. You, you must have forgot wrong. who I am. I'm the best in the country. Everyone, not wrong. She is the best. Like, you watch her fight. You know, it's not... Scrappy is a professional performance, and that's that's, a, that's amazing to hear because I my um, theory on why Chloe doesn't get as much hype as some other fighters is because she is quiet and quiet. and she doesn't say look at me and she doesn't right. call people out and she these doesn't girls, like have the, the these girls like even like no offense but um, Riri really don't want that I'm telling you because. I would love to see that fight. Yeah, I love both yeah, those girls. Yeah, so it'd be a great fight. Riri's a beast, but uh, I think um, that would be a. Uh, Chloe's the scariest. Chloe's the best in the UK. Like I think Chloe is the best, but I mean, like you know, styles make fights. Riri's a rusher. She's aggressive, good kickboxer. You know, I, I, I think Chloe. Like Joe Saint Pierre. Yeah, mate. Everything. <laughs> Chloe just does everything she needs to do to win a fight, and she does it in classic. Um, you know, form, but I don't think I think you might be. I think that fight won't happen if I'm honest with you. Yeah. It's a you know, cry because Chloe. I think Chloe originally obviously was going to fight her. She pulled out. Then it's she like was going to fight Chloe. Then Chloe pulled out. Yeah, and Khabib yeah, could be even Ferguson. So I don't. I think that fight's oh. going to happen. I think Chloe wants to turn pro. She tends she wants to go pro. I think she might go Canada. She might fight on that new show in Canada. Okay. Pa pa fin 
I can't remember. Poor, poor, F M I. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, I've been that. They've been offers for that one, so that might be an interesting fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, interesting. Or I've been speaking to a couple of the Cage Warriors guys, so she might go pro straight on Cage Warriors. I am always saying Cage Warriors need more female fights yeah, on their cards. They haven't had any Friday. I'm looking for Chanel and Chloe at the same time to go pro on Cage Warriors. Oh my God, I think I would die. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Chanel will know it as well. When she comes over, she can talk about it. But she wants to do the Europeans. Chloe wants to have maybe one more amateur up north. She wants to go up there and fight one of the northern girls. And then, um, and then I think they're both going to go pro maybe December on the London card. Or November in the London card at the O2 which would be crazy. And how more Remy fights do you want? Um, <laughs> no, just as many as possible. We'll see what the end of the year holds. We'll see in December what we're saying. If I feel like I haven't got the experience I need yet, we'll go a couple more. If I feel like I have, we'll, um, we'll go pro. It's just um, 20 at the end of the year. It's just about getting experience. So that's why, like he said, we're looking at the Curtis Campbell, he's saying the best. And we'll just have it with him. Right? There's no reason to be scared. This, what's the worst that happens? I lose, let's go, I don't care. We're going to fight and we're going to see what happens and um, see my experience. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. It doesn't matter. I don't care about all that ranking stuff. Give me my fights and let's get paid. I love it. <laughs> so what's next for the team? Oh, there's, a lo there's loads of couple of things. I mean, four um, weeks, four weeks I'm, I'm, I'm off to Vegas for Thomas Paul fighting on the Contenders. The Contender series. Um, then once I come back, I actually haven't. I've got a couple of other shows, ECMMA and stuff like that. But and then next year we're looking at big things. I mean, we're looking at potentially opening our own gym. Um, you know, where we don't know yet. But we've been looking at things. You know what I mean? It's just an idea. You know, that's in our head at the moment. So we've been looking at different things. So young fighters coming through. Got through. Lots of young fighters coming through. And as you can tell tonight, I think we went four and two tonight, or four. And Four and three, five and three, something like that. Yeah, we went. We've done well tonight. We've done well. I'm proud of all the boys. Aiden Rooney, especially. Oh my God, yeah. Aiden. I oh my God, where is he? I want to interview him as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he was magnificent. He was. Magnificent. Um, that guy. That guy. Yeah. No, Aiden went. Listen, he's three and zero. Oh. That guy was three and zero. Oh. Aiden's only one, uh, two and zero. Oh, whatever. He went. I want the best. I want to go up in them rankings. I want to fight with like, Aiden. You know what respect. And Aiden decimated it, won every round. Same with Ada. Ada, who just fought um, Joe Patterson. Good fight, but Ada just controlled every moment. And our team is just coming so elite, and I'm looking forward to the future, and I can't wait. That's what I love about this show, to be honest with you, is all the best gyms, like around yeah. this area, or not even this area, like across London, and they're, they're all prepared to put their fighters in with the best fighters from other gyms. I think so, yeah, I mean, this is it. I mean, there's an MMA clinic, there's um, BKK, there's GB Top Team, there's Renegade, you know, Intensity. There's so many really good gyms around the country, and I think that it, the standard is getting better and better. And you keep fighting each other, win, lose, draw, wins, lose. That's, oh, that's David's... Uh, that's my last opponent. That's oh, David's oh, wow. David, last opponent. Well, you got to win tonight. you got to win tonight. Um, he, obviously, he improved it. He looked really good. But, um, right, that's, a, that's a chapter in my book. No, I don't, that's nothing <laughs> to me. I don't care. Um, going forward. So, yeah. It's always so great to see you guys at these I'd shows. Like to see you and at our show. I would love or to be there. Gym. What or is. In the pub. All of the above. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally down for. Yeah. When is your next show? We don't know yet. Okay. We don't know yet. We have looked at it. We, we, we honestly don't know. But we are going to the pub. Everything. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so you can come to that one. Hard, I'll do that until harder. the next show's announced. <laughs> For sure, that's it. You know. Train hard, fight harder. That's what they do. Yeah. Thank you so much for no talking worries. to me, guys. Right, I'll go and get Aiden for you. Thank all right? you.